Hey everybody, Pastor Stephen Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Tonight I was tuned in live listening to Sam Gipp preach at Keith Gomez's church where they're having a conference against yours truly, preaching against after the tribulation, preaching against marching to Zion, etc. But what I heard tonight was so shocking and mind-blowing, I can't even believe it. Sam Gipp said the most blasphemous, satanic thing that I've ever heard in a Baptist church and nobody batted an eye. The pastor gets up at the end and, oh, great job, Brother Gip. And just nobody even stops the service and says, whoa, buddy, you just crossed the line. You're teaching wicked, wicked doctrine. He actually got up tonight and said that Jesus' name was not supposed to be Jesus. His parents named him the wrong name that they were basically not following instructions when they named him Jesus, and that, you know, we know him as Jesus, but that that was not supposed to be his name. And then he even said, just in case you think, oh, it was a misunderstanding, then he says that when Jesus Christ returns, no one's going to call him Jesus. At his second coming, nobody's going to call him Jesus, because that wasn't even what he was supposed to be named in the first place. I mean, I can't even believe this. I mean, I thought it was bad when Sam Gibb said that Jesus was not his Messiah. That was nothing compared to this. I mean, this is just way more blasphemous. This is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And it's, look, it's not just weird. It's satanic. It's demonic. It's wicked. It's evil. Jesus is the name above all names. And the Bible's crystal clear in Luke chapter 2 that that name was given him by the angel before he was even conceived in the womb. That was the name that God gave him. And to sit there and say, oh, well, he was supposed to be called Emmanuel, but his parents got it wrong. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this and gets a good job on Israel. Well, it's funny how you're so interested in defending Israel, but you don't care when the name of Jesus is attacked. I mean, look, you're going to hear the blasphemy for yourself. Listen to the clip yourself. I mean, you, you probably don't even believe me. But when you listen to it, it's clear what he's saying. That, oh, the angel told him to name it Emmanuel. And the lying fool starts reading in verse uh, 22. And he conveniently skips 21, where the angel tells him in Matthew 121, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He was commanded by the angel, thou shalt call his name Jesus. Sam Gibb starts reading in verse 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. That's not even the angel talking. That's the book of Matthew telling us what scripture is being fulfilled in the Old Testament. His name is Jesus. In Luke chapter 2, it says that he was given the name of Jesus by the angel before he was even conceived in the womb. That ain't name came from God. Look, even Linus reading the Christmas story in Charlie Brown gets it right. And Sam Gipp is evil and wicked and foolish and any pastor who allows him to preach in their church, if they have heard this clip that I'm about to play, is just as wicked and evil as he is. And if you go to a church where Sam Gipp is on the itinerary to come preach, you need to demand that he be canceled. Or your pastor is wicked and a partaker of his evil deeds to put this evil blasphemer behind the pulpit who uh, has the gall to teach this bizarre demonic doctrine about the name of Jesus. And listen, Keith Gomez, your church is filled with idiots. You, congratulations on your church. I know you think that your church is so big and you're so, such a big name or whatever in fundamentalism. Your church is filled with retards, Keith Gomez, because if anybody in your church had a brain, they would have heard that wicked blasphemy. They would have got up and walked out, or better yet, they would have stood up and rebuked the demon, Sam Gipp, for blaspheming Christ in such a wicked way. And anybody who has Sam Gipp preach or listens to his preaching after they hear this clip is just as evil and wicked and demonic as he is. And there's, don't make excuses for it. Don't, there's no excuse for this satanic, creepy doctrine. Listen to it yourself. Let me, let me show you something. 
Go to Matthew chapter 1. It's just better to look at the book for this. Matthew chapter 1. In Matthew chapter 1, this angel's talking to J uh, Joseph. Joseph finds out that Mary's with child. He's going to dispose of her in a nice way. He doesn't want her killed. She should be stoned because she's been, she's been immoral. That's what he thinks. And so he wants to put her away quietly. And an angel comes and talks to him. Can anybody guess the name of the angel? Absolutely. It was Gabriel. It wasn't Michael because he continues on. Anyway, and, and look what it says. Verse 30, uh, 23. Behold, other verse 22. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of, of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Remember these words. God with us. You know what? If you say in Hebrew, Emmanuel, the E-L is God. Emmanuel, you are saying God with us. If somebody's name, I preach for a guy named Emmanuel in the uh, Philippines, uh, that his name is God with us, okay? So, <clears throat> Emmanuel means God with us. So, this angel comes to Joseph and says, don't put her away, this thing is of God, and this baby's name is going to be Emmanuel. Right? Verse 24, then Joseph, being raised from the sleep, uh, from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth the firstborn son, and called his name Emmanuel. No, he didn't call him Emmanuel. He said, hey, you're going to have a kid? His name's going to be Emmanuel. He says, hey, Joe, she had the baby. What do you call him? Jesus. <laughs> Say, what? how could that be? Real simple. God with us. The Bible says, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Instead, we know him as Jesus. And what does Jesus mean? It means Jehovah saves. Oh, that's what we need, isn't it? We need Jehovah saves. But he never got this. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday or sometime earlier. Before the Lord came to the manger, it, the Trinity was in heaven. Nobody ever said, let's go by the throne and see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They said, let's go by the throne and see the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. He got that name Jesus when he was born. Now, one of these days, the Lord's going to come back. He's going to sit on the throne in Jerusalem. He's going to rule the universe, correct? And nobody is going to say, well, let's go to Jerusalem and see Jesus. They're going to say, let's go to Jerusalem and see God with us. You say, are you sure about that? Well, there you have it, folks. You heard it right there for yourself. The wicked, evil blasphemy that Keith Gomez thought was such a wonderful sermon. Look, somebody needs to hold these so-called big name preachers accountable and take them to task. And this Sam Gipp needs to be canceled from every meeting. And look, if your pastor is having Sam Gipp and you show him this and he's still having Sam Gipp, get out of that church because your pastor is probably just as demonic as he is. Look, and look, if you're watching this video and you just heard what he said and you think it's okay or that there's an excuse for it, you know what? You're not saved. There, I said it. You're not even saved because nobody who has the spirit of God living inside of them could listen to that evil, blasphemous doctrine and think that that is acceptable and think that that's okay. You are still in darkness even until now. You are blinded. Sam Gipp is an unsaved wicked false prophet and any pastor who has him come preach after hearing this is just as wicked and demonic as he is and let me tell you something we need to get this message out take this video and tweet it blog it share it on facebook look we need to take it to task and i'm not going to let this go until every pastor who has him scheduled to preach either comes out and says oh i agree i agree that the name of jesus was some plan b afterthought uh, you know, a screw up by his parents. Or they cancel Sam Gipp, the demonic false teacher. Look, we need to take these people to task. We can't just sit back and let this traveling circus, Sam Gipp, travel to 50 churches a year 
teaching lies and infecting churches all over America with this evil doctrine. And if you're watching this video and you think what he said was okay, you're not even saved and I have nothing more to say to you.